It's Betsy and Cameron from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today we have a fun video. We are doing our uh, crafting for Disney, and we are doing a Spider-Man Far From Home shirt. Cameron's favorite Marvel character is Spider-Man. So we have tickets to go see it on Independence Day. So we're going on July the fourth. We have to go super early. We're going at 9:45 in the morning because it is the only time of day that they are doing XD 3D. So that's what we are doing. But we figured we would do this shirt tutorial for you. Now, the file is available on our Patreon page for our $4 or more a month Patreon supporters. And I just lost all train of thought. Okay, let's try that again. Wait, what were we supposed to I have no idea. Okay, one, two, Three. Hey y'all, it's Betsy and Cameron from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas. And today we have a fun video for you. Crafting with Disney. Crafting for Disney and we are going to be doing a Spider-Man Far From Home shirt. Now the new movie releases on July the 2nd and... And Spider-Man is my favorite superhero. Yes, Cameron is obsessed with Spider-Man. So we are going to go see this on the July the 4th, Independence Day. We're going at 9.45 in the morning because that's the only time they were showing it in XD 3D. So we're super excited about it. So, you know, we make family shirts and this will also work for your Universal and Disney trips as well. So for today's tutorial, you're going to need your shirt, which we are using the Cardinal Red Tooltex brand. You're also gonna need your vinyl, which we are using the Deco Film Soft Metallic in white and charcoal metallic. You're also going to need your Easy Weed and Wooden Pick, scissors, and a teacher alignment guide. And what size is that one? 16 inch. Why do we use a 16 inch? Because we have a 16 inch press. So that's how you know what to order. And all the supplies are available on our website. You're also going to need your Teflon sheet, as well as your heat press is going to need to be preheated to 305 degrees. And your first press is five to seven seconds and then your final pressing is three to four seconds. Now, if you'll give us a moment to get the camera angle changed, we will show you everything that we are going to do today. So for today's Crafting for Disney episode, the first thing we're going to need to do is to download our file, which is available at my Patreon page, which is www.patreon.com backslash Betsy Gocher. Now, this is for our $4 or more a month patrons. You're going to need to select post at the top, and then you're going to select the red link on the Spider-Man for personal use only SVG. Now, remember, since it is licensed, you cannot sell this. This is for personal use only. Now, we're going to go ahead, and I downloaded that folder file. Now, I'm going to go to my Cricut Design Space, click Upload, Browse. Now I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my downloads folder and select the Spider-Man file. Select open, click save. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the image. Okay, so as you can see, he's a little big right now. So we want to change him down to a 12 inches wide, which makes him about 14 inches tall. Now we are not going to weld all this together because it is a pretty easy layout to do. So I need to duplicate this eight times because I am making eight shirts. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to go ahead and click on make it. There we go. And we're going to change the size of our vinyl down to 12 inches by 19 inches. Let's see if we change it to 12 by 24. Because we can squish some of this up together. So we want to go ahead and make sure to mirror that. Okay. Place that one there. Place that one there. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I have a little bit of a tickle in my throat. 
going to rotate this one around. Almost perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not trying to cough in y'all's ear, but it's hard to edit that out. Okay, so that one's ready to go. Now we'll go to the second one. Again, mirror the design. And then we're going to take and squish those together. Go ahead and rotate that one a little bit. Okay, so again, that one now falls under the 12 by 19. The third piece, again, mirror. And then we're going to go ahead and squish these together. Which this one's going to be a little bit easier to do because there's only... Two, <clears throat> and then number four, go ahead and mirror, squish those in together. There we go. And number five, go ahead and mirror, and everything's under that 19 inch category. Now we're going to go into our charcoal layer, and again, change this to 12 inches by 19 inches. So as you can see, two per page fit with lots of excess. So remember, all those extra pieces go in our scrap box drawing. Go ahead and mirror all that. There we go. So now everything is mirrored and click continue. Now I'm going to take and cut all this material. I'm going to choose regular iron on since this is the deco soft material. Load my Cricut up and then I will show you the rest of the process. I have Cameron's shirt loaded over here on the heat press just like I normally do. And then what I'm going to do is as you can see, I printed out a picture of Spider-Man's design. So that way, I can take and pre-line up so that way I can make sure it's going on the shirt correctly. So we've got that place where we want it. And So as you can see, it looks like this. Now we can lay out the Spider-Man design on the shirt. And as you can see, it pretty much, because it's a bigger design, goes edge to edge, it, especially on this extra small shirt. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is lift up the carbon layer or the charcoal layer because we want that on top so we're taking that off. And as I said, the heat press is preheated to 305 degrees. And we're gonna heat this layer for five to seven seconds. So Cameron, while we're heating this layer, would you like to tell them the winner of the Toy Story shirt? Yes, Holly Fairbanks. So Holly, if you will take and message us with the size of your shirt, along with your address to our email, which is cuttingcornersvinyl at gmail, we will get that shipped out to you. 
Okay, so now while we're waiting on this to cool, and part of the reason why I wanted to use the Deco Soft White, because as you can see, it is not fully trans, it's not fully white, especially once we put more heat on it, it gets a little bit more translucent. So it definitely reminds me of real spider webs. So, let's see, show me the picture. Kind of like that. So there we go. So again, we're going to press this layer for about five to seven seconds. And then once we peel off the plastic, we will print, press it again for three to four seconds. And if I sound a little off, I went and had, I have a sinus infection. Woohoo! and went and got antibiotic and steroid shots today, so I'm like jittery, like ee. <laughs> So, okay. Now we gotta wait for this to cool, but as you can see, the more that white heats up, the more translucent it gets. So while we're waiting for that to cool, there we go. I love the way this looks. Tell me, any Spider-Man fans, boy or girl, would love to have this shirt. And you'll definitely be able to tell who my family is because they will wear them to make mama happy. I don't know how many other families are like that, but mine are definitely like that. But they also enjoy doing it. Don't let them kid you. Okay, Cameron, you wanna come hold this up? Yes, ma'am. Okay, but there you go. And the way you tell, I'm not sure if it'll pick up on camera, that your vinyl is adhered correctly, you will be able to see the texture of the shirt through the vinyl. And that's how you know it's adhered. And this has a good stretch and just looks absolutely amazing. Don't stretch it out. I mean, you can, it ain't gonna mess up the vinyl, but you don't wanna warp the picture. Now remember, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell down below. Let us know what Disney characters you want to see us do next. Also, don't forget to check us out on all of our social media, which is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Yep, and we post new videos, videos every single weekday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we have a bonus video going up on Saturday over how to use the Caesar Easy sub Subly with the Silhouette Cameo in the Sawgrass SG400. So be on the lookout for that. But I guess that's it. So we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.